Congressman Goode's very proud of the earmarks he's brought back. But the fact is, he is ranked 60th out of 66 members of the Appropriation Committee in terms of effectiveness. The fact is, this is the bare minimum you expect of a member of Congress. And we need someone who's willing to work a lot harder to bring a lot more back and make sure that in addition to those earmarks, we're also supporting the legislative efforts that will provide relief to families and small business here in the area. Earmarks alone can't get it done, but they can be an important part of getting key elements of vocational and skills training and infrastructure and other things through. But we need someone up in Washington representing this area who's getting an A plus on effectiveness, not a passing grade. Ranked eighth out of the 11 members of the Virginia delegation in terms of effectiveness. This is nothing about Congressman Good as a person. It's just about who's able to get things done. Uh, <clears throat> in answering that, Bob, I would observe you can get any survey to say about anything you want it to. It depends on who's doing the looking and who's doing the calculating. It's roll call, the nonpartisan uh, leading uh, advocate on Mr. Perriello, I must. Apologies. Uh, we've been able to get through my office approximately. 23 to 24 million dollars in earmarks. That's been a great asset, I think, to the Institute and to Danville. We've also gotten earmarks for Patrick Henry Community College, Danville Community College, Southside Virginia Community College, practically every law enforcement in the area, Henry County, City of Martinsville, City of Danville, Pennsylvania, Chatham, Gretna, Hurt, uh, Halifax County, South Boston. And I'm willing to say, let's have a moratorium for now. And I am a co-sponsor on the bill, but I don't believe that the 5th District should lose their marks unless those in New York City lose theirs, unless those in the city of Chicago lose theirs. So uh, uh, I'm for your marks as part of everyone else getting them. But when we have the votes, I am going to vote and sponsor, as I have in the past, the moratorium on earmarks. But I, my, I've worked and focused on Southside to make sure that they are getting a fair slice of the pie. And if I'm reelected, I'm going to make sure Southside gets a fair slice of the pie. Up and getting its fair slice under Congressman Good. The numbers sound impressive until you compare them to what Congressman Boucher and others have done. It was Roll Call, an independent nonpartisan magazine that is well-respected on Capitol Hill, that said he's ranked 60th out of 66 in terms of appropriations. He should be in the dream spot for this region. But the fact is he's not getting it done. We need someone up there who's going to work as hard for you as you work for your families. When we listen, then we can do the solutions. This has been my life's work. I went to Afghanistan. I went to West Africa to work on security strategies. And the first step is always to listen. You're just gathering intelligence. You go out, you start to interview people, you assume that maybe some of the people on the ground understand the dynamics a little better than you do. You listen, you gather intelligence, you get the best solutions you can. That's what I'm good at. Then I can go up and fight like you've never seen anyone fight before to make sure those solutions happen. I don't have to have all the answers. I just need to know that I can sit down with local and regional leaders who do and that I can go up at Washington, work across party lines, be in the majority party to make sure that I'm getting more done. That's how you solve problems.